And as, as a person that gives workshops now, that's something I have to be, I have to actually consider. But so you're young, you're young and you're getting all these lessons, right? The transition into maybe your teenage life, into your young adult life, what inspired you? How were you able to manage that given that you have this unique perspective? I, I'm sure, you know, just going to college or, you know, kind of doing the normal thing wasn't wasn't something that was really appealing to somebody that saw that. And how were you able to manage those, maybe those expectations and that that transition? Well, believe it or not, I, I have a degree from the University of Victoria. My degree is in political science and international relations. Right. I ran the computer lab. We built the first Mac lab at the University of Victoria mm -hmm. in the 1980s. Uh, but what my perspective always was yeah. is that there's always something more. There's always something. When, when you're looking at something, mm -hmm. you need to look at the edges. And you need to look for what's not being said. When somebody's saying something, the question is, what are they omitting? Mm -hmm. What are what is their body saying that their that their lips aren't? Mm -hmm. And that has always been as I grew up and I, I you know started in sales and moved over to marketing and communications and branding. It allowed me to sit there and say, okay, what's the error of omission? What's not being said? What's being missed? What's being forgotten? 